Parkland the CS former CS for interior summoned us with a distress call. We managed to assemble a team of over 200 lawyers. We went to his residence at Karen and found out strange looking people after the CS. The people could not identify themselves in terms of their identification. The people could not identify themselves in terms of any uniform. The people could not identify the document called a search warrant or a warrant of arrest against the CS or breaking in order. This is, these are the conditions the lawyers demanded and nobody would show that. Today in the morning, we have seen the Inspector General has confirmed that none of his officers were present there. Three questions. The whole night we have not slept. We have been at the CS's place. Why hasn't any police officer come to confirm what is happening with the CS? If indeed they were not police officers, why hasn't the police come to the scene of the crime? If they are not police officers, then who were they? Whose responsibility is it to take care of Matiang? It is a responsibility of the police. If foreigners from Ethiopia or foreigners from any other country invaded the CS's place, it is the responsibility of the police to rush to the scene of crime. So it is upon, we are pushing the government to come out very clearly to explain three things. One, Professor Magua dies. Our client gives a speech. Less than 12 hours, his security detail is downgraded. Less than 24 hours, a serious attack in his house. The sequencing of those events. Among the prayers that we have filed is that there seems to be a choreographed attack on the former cabinet CSS, including the former head of state. So we will be taking instructions today from the other CSS and the PSS, plus the former head of state, with a view of filing and to bail application for all of them. Because it is very clear the sequence of events, how they are going to unfold.